Hey guys, good afternoon. Wanted to do a video on ARP, Address Resolution Protocol, and what is it? So ARP, in my mind, is a way to increase the efficiency of a network um, by allowing devices to communicate to one another on a local network. So when I think of an IP address, I tend to think of routing over networks, over the internet, um, between networks. But when I think of a MAC address, I think of local communication. And that's what we have here. We have a local network, a local subnet, and uh, we're going to work with some MAC addresses. So let's say PC Blue wants to communicate to PC Red, but PC Blue doesn't have PC Red's MAC address. So ARP is the way to get that MAC address. So what happens is PC Blue will, uh, PC Blue doesn't have anything in its ARP cache. So let's check the ARP cache real quick. So we'll open up PC Blue, go to the command prop, type in ARP A, and you'll see no ARP entries found. So there's no way for PC Blue to communicate to PC Red, not yet. So how do we fix that? So PC Blue will send out an ARP request, which is a broadcast message, and that message will make it to switch zero. And then because it's a broadcast message, it goes out all ports. So the message will go out fast Ethernet 03 and out fast Ethernet 02. And the message is essentially saying, hey, I'm PC Blue. My IP address is 192.168.1.2. My MAC address is x.x.x and I'm trying to find a way to communicate with 192.168.1.3. Does anyone have 192.168.1.3's MAC address? That message will go to server zero and server zero will say, well, I'm 1.1, I'm not 1.3, so I'm gonna drop this message and I won't reply to it. The message will also go out fast Ethernet 02 and PC Red will get that message and say, hey, I'm 192.168.1.3, I should give them my MAC address. So PC Red will send back a ARP reply, and it's a unicast message, and it'll send it directly to PC Blue, and PC Blue will update its ARP cache with PC Red's MAC address and IP address, and then you can have communication between PC Blue and PC Red. So let's uh, let's do this. We're going to ping from PC Blue. We're going to ping 192.168.1.3. That's PC Red's IP address. We're going to ping it. And, bef and I see, you're, you're probably see noticing, yeah, we're getting replies, right? But what you're not seeing is before this ping even happened, an ARP request was sent out because I initiated a, a communication with 1.3. PC Blue was like, hey, my ARP cache is empty. I don't know who 1.3 is. I'm going to send out an ARP request. So PC Blue sent out the ARP request, got back an ARP reply from PC Red, and then it updated its ARP cache, and then the ping went through and communication started. So if we go back and we go ARP-A, you could see in our ARP cache the IP address of PC Red 192.168.1.3 and the, the MAC address x.x.x .x .x, um, is in our ARP cache now. So we can communicate between PC Blue and PC Red. And what does this mean? Type. So you could see the types is dynamic. The type is not the type of device. The type is the type of entry that you put in. So a dynamic entry means that the MAC address was learned through an ARP request and an ARP reply. If this type says static, that means that a user went in and manually created an ARP cache entry for a specific MAC address. And that entry can never be deleted unless it's deleted by the user. The dynamic entries will be cleared out every 240 minutes. So um, that's the difference between dynamic and static. But yeah, there we go. So let's check out uh, PC Red's ARP cache. So we'll go to PC Red, go to the desktop, command prompt ARP A. And you can see we have the IP address of PC Blue, we have the MAC address of PC Blue, and we have the type. Because when PC Blue sent out that ARP request, it also sent out, hey, this is my IP address, this is MAC address, my MAC address. If you're 1.3, please respond. So when PC Red got that ARP request, it added PC Blue's information to its ARP cache. So now PC Red and PC Blue can communicate, and that's really cool. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's ARP Address Resolution Protocol, and that's how it works. Thanks.